Hi, MAJ Customs fam. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, I'm Amanda. If not, welcome back. So we are getting ready to do our kids' 4th of July t-shirt. Um, I have to do a shirt for this skirt right here. And I have my design already printed, which is right here. Okay. And this is on the glitter DTF film. All right, so it's gonna be glitter. It's gonna look so cute. And it's going on this cotton. Let me make sure it's cotton. Yep, this is 100% cotton. And I picked it up from, oh, it's not. Can y'all see that? It's like, okay. I had a hard time focusing. I got a new camera, you guys, so I'm still learning this one. Um, so this is 100% cotton. I picked this one up from Hobby Lobby, and it was like about $3, okay? So this image here is gonna go on the shirt. And then for the sleeves, because I wanted to be like a little bit girly, I'm gonna put uh, a red heart and a blue heart on there. These are heat transfer vinyl, okay? So it's not DTF. All right, and for the DTF, you guys, you do need a sublimation printer for this. I use the Eco Tank 8550 to print this out, okay, you guys? And you are to mirror, so sublimation ink, sublimation printer, and the DTF film, along with you need the powder, the DTF powder that goes over it. I have a container, so I just put my image in there, make sure the powder covers the whole design, and shake it off back into my box. Um, I've done a video on that before. That's why I'm really not showing the details in this one because I have done a video on it already. So if you guys want to go check that out, you guys are more than welcome to do so and we would greatly appreciate it. Okay, so all right, you guys, let's go ahead and start pressing these shirts. I have to do this one and I have to do our kids. Um, they wanted Spider-Man on theirs, so I will show you that design as well, okay? All right. Okay, everyone, so this is the T-shirt on the heat press. This is the DTF image i'm going to just make sure i center this i mean i guess i could put a crease down the middle right so i can get my center but it's pretty little so you kind of can eyeball it if you've been doing it for quite some time i lint rolled my shirt a lot of people don't lint roll lint roll um i don't know a lot of people don't do it if it's cotton i'm doing it just to be safe make sure there ain't nothing on there that's going to accidentally press to the shirt and for the DTF um, film, you guys, I'm doing it at, it's supposed to be 325 degrees for 15 seconds. My heat press has not gotten up there yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I didn't even realize that it didn't reach the 325. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just let it get up to 325 and then I'll be back and we can press this, okay? Okay, everyone, so my machine is up there. Put this tag in here, back inside. All right. And I'm doing this as a firm press, medium to firm. All right. That looks pretty good to me right there. I got it over like this because it don't even look like my image is centered in the middle of the film. If you guys could see, she's over like here closer and not exactly in the middle. So I'm eyeballing this at this point with my line. So I'm going the middle of this image down the middle of the shirt, the line on the shirt. All right, here we go. And I'm gonna let it count down, you guys. This, I believe, is a cold peel. So I will get back. I will come back after I let it cool down, okay? Okay, everyone, here we go. It's already cooled down. I will be doing a second press on this. I'm gonna go take it back under the heat press. Oh, my little star right there didn't stick all the way. I'm just trying to be careful. Okay, so that's what it looks like. You see the image lifted up. There's no glitter there. 
in that area. I hope you guys can see that. Now this is the shirt. Okay, looks really, really cute, you guys. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and do the arms. I'm gonna put the hearts on each side of the arm and then uh, I'll be back for the vinyl, you guys. I'm gonna have to lower the heat press, I believe, to three, 307 degrees, like 305, 307 for about 15 seconds, okay? Okay, everyone, so I went in for a second press on the shirt. I really like the way that came out. Look at that, you guys. All right, now I have to lower it for the heart, for the vinyl hearts I'm putting on a sleeve. I have to lower the temp, okay? And then I'll be back once I get um, desituated on the shirt. Okay, everyone, so there's already a line on the shirt sleeve, and I'm just lining my heart up with that, and I'm just gonna hang it off the heat press like this, okay, and then press it. Oops. I forgot to set my, oops. All right, here we go. And then I'll be back when it counts down, you guys, okay? Okay, everyone, so I have the shirt hanging off the heat press due to the um, stitching right here on the shoulder part along the arm, okay? I don't want this to pop up without me holding it. All right. So again, the sleeve design is heat transfer vinyl. Okay. Looks really, really good. Look at that, y'all. So we have the front and then we have the sides. And now I'm gonna do this side with the blue. And again, there's already kind of like a line here. So I just have to line this up make sure I have them looking the same all right it's just a little above the all right here we go trying to make them as even as possible okay Straighten it out. All right, and again, I'm hanging it off the edge. All right, you guys, so now I'm going to press it. And I'm gonna go in on a second press for these ones too, okay? So I'll be back when this one gets done. Okay, everyone, so this shirt is now done. Okay, you got the hearts. Remember, this is heat transfer vinyl heat transfer vinyl, and then direct to film with powder. Okay, so this is how this shirt turned out. This is 12 to 18 months, and then this is the skirt. All right, okay, so next I'm gonna do our uh, kids' shirts for the fourth. So I'll be back, I'm gonna show you guys the design that they chose, and then um, we can press that as well. Okay, everyone, so here we are. I have the Cricut shirts. If you guys don't know, they look like this. All right, our boys, two of them are a size eight. So this one here is the medium, okay? And this one is eight, what does it say, eight? Is that eight, nine? Yeah, eight, nine, you guys, whoops. And then I also have the four T for the younger one, okay? And for these ones, Cricut, you guys normally don't need butcher paper inside. The image does not see through. I have had some people say it has happened to them. It has not happened to me yet. Okay, so hopefully, um, <laughs> hopefully we won't we won't run into that problem. Uh, make sure you lint roll your sublimation items, including um, it doesn't matter what it is. If it's sublimation, you're gonna sublimate on it. Lint roll, okay real good because if you don't you tend to get little red or blue looking like it looks like little red or blue lint inside the shirt and we don't want that okay a lot of times though what I've noticed sometimes it comes with like blue lint in there from time to time I have gotten some shirts like that all right now for this one I'm just going to eyeball it and for the image size you guys this is eight and a half and then I went down ten so Okay. And I, again, I'm just going to eyeball this. 
Now you can use heat resistant tape. I do have some on hand. All right, and if you don't want to burn your hand, you can use as well heat resistant gloves. But me being me, I think that's fine just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and press this. 400 degrees, you guys, 60 seconds, okay? And this is a, like a, a, a medium. It's not, it's not a firm press, but like light to medium press for sublimation, okay? So your ink does not like spread out everywhere and ghost and all that other stuff, okay? So be very careful. If you're new to this, tape your designs down so they don't move on you, okay? Because then you'll get like, it's called ghosting and it looks like um, an outline of your image is what it's gonna look like, okay? So I'll be back when this gets done counting down, you guys. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Alrighty, you guys. Oh, it looks really good. And there's no ink that transferred, okay? You guys can see that. No ink transferred to the back. Alright, and I didn't put no butcher paper inside. But look at that. That looks really nice. You guys see that? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of these and I'll be back, you guys, to show you how they all turn out, okay? Okay, everyone, so this is the 4T. You guys can see that. You guys, this design came out really, really nice. And these are the bigger ones, the 8, 9. They're size medium, though, in Cricut, okay? But these came out real good, y'all. Real good, I'm very impressed, very impressed. And for the Spider-Man designs, you guys, um, let me show you this real quick. See, I pressed this one, and I don't know if y'all could see, it's got a few little blue specks right there, which I'm not gonna worry about that, if y'all could see. Other than that, the shirt came out fine. And this was just on the 4T. But uh, like I was saying, the design came in a bundle off of Etsy. I paid, I think it was like 20 designs. I paid like three, three something, 398, something like that. It was like under $4. Um, but you get different, um, different uh, characters for boys and you get some characters for girls that are like princess and stuff like that. So you do get um, designs for both boy and girl. All right, and they're all 4th of July. So again, it's a bundle. All right, on Etsy, you guys. Hey guys okay. So recap, this is the t-shirt DTF Glitter Film, okay? You guys can see Glitter Film. And then for the sleeve, heat transfer vinyl, glitter. That's glitter on both. All right, look at that. Oh, get it to focus focus all right like this like I said this camera is new you guys so I'm still learning it and then the skirt of course that's still you know, going with it and then the headband and you guys can pick you know you the, your local Dollar Tree has headbands okay so pick up a Dollar Tree headband you can even make a headband you can pick up a uh, uh, like some ribbon red ribbon or whatever color you want to make your headband and just pick you up one from Dollar Tree and if it's got like this has velvet over it just if you don't like the material on it just tear it up and do some hot glue and wrap you some ribbon around a headband you can make your own like this is pretty much the garland 4th of July garland like they make these so simple so it's not hard you just got to pay attention to how they make it just garland right here too all right, so they got them though already made at your local Dollar Tree. And again, like I said, this, this skirt came from Walmart. This one I picked up from Walmart, okay? But they do have some at Dollar Tree. It's just, I was at Walmart first before I went into Dollar Tree and I've seen them all. All right, you guys. All right, so that's the end of this video, you guys. If you guys like this video, if you just enjoyed watching us make things or whatever it is to keep you guys coming back, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we will definitely see you all in the next video. Stay blessed. Bye.